Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on ISIS. Let's start our part 2. Now next, uh, we are looking into the condition for establish an ISIS neighbor relationship. So what will be the condition if let's say we are using same level, okay, same level and same area. Okay, what will be the condition? Uh, what will be if let's say you are using a broadcast and point to point, uh, if it's a difference or if it's the same. Okay, so we are going to examine this relationship. Okay, let's do our lab here uh, based on ISIS. Very simple topology. So the intention of this lab is to show you how ISIS form the neighbor um, using a Ethernet gigabit. Um, I have here two routers with an IP address of 10.0.12. All right, so on the router one is dot one, router two is dot two. Uh, so we are going to configure our ISIS using 49.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
is a um, AE 057B. Okay, AE 057B. And uh, based on this MAC address, you will notice that this MAC address of 32, 15F7, is lower compared to AE057B and in theory router 2 are supposed to be our DIS but let's lab it out. So I go to the interface gig 00, ISIS is enable. I also want to enable for the loopback, ISIS is enable. Now let's just observe our wire shark. Now you notice that from the wire shark, okay, so you can see that I have a 32 and uh, AE, okay? And you can see that these are the uh, level one. Now because the uh, router two, I have not disabled the level one two, you notice that I still have a level two here. So let me go back into the ISIS here, okay? ISIS, I'm going to say IS level, level one. All right, you can see that they tear down the peering and re-enable back the peering as you can see from here. You can see that our peering is actually based on just L1. Okay, now um, just to give you some understanding over here, uh, based on the theory that I mentioned, uh, the DIS is supposed to be the higher priority or if let's say the priority is the same, then the MAC address, whichever that is higher, will become our DIS. Now let's check it out. Display ISIS interface, uh, that is true. You can see that the DIS is belong to router 2. Okay, and if I go to router 1, okay, display ISIS interface, you can see that it's no. Um, so just now I already mentioned that the router 2 MAC address is higher. Okay, so this is the AE057B. And whereas for the other one here, okay, so this is only like 32 because this first part here is the same. So 3215F7 is lower. So that's, that's why the, uh, R, the uh, R2 uh, is the DIS. Now let's just check out the um, conversation. So if you look into the conversation from um, frame 65 onward. Let's let me go back into the Wireshark and look into the uh, the graph to show you how this conversation look like. Okay, so um, if let's say we look into our frame here uh, in the 225 second. Okay, so um, in fact when we first started, if we analyze from here you will notice that the uh, 3215F7 is the one who actually sending the hello. You notice that it's actually sending the L1 hello and the L2 hello. So this is the level one and this is the level two. Uh, at that moment, I have not enabled the uh, router two yet, okay? And if you scroll down, you can see that uh, at this interval on the 59 second, I disabled the layer two, or uh, level two. So only level one hello is being sent. Now on the 184 second, I enable the ISIS on router 2. So you can see that router 2 start to send the hello, uh, L1 and uh, L2 hello, okay? And when router 1 receive it, you can see that both router 1 and router 2 see the hello. So a uh, hello is being sent, all right? You can see that this uh, router 2 also being sent the hello and LSP is being exchanged. And that, that's where the um, LSP is being exchanged and the neighbor is already up. Okay, so we have a L1 uh, agency. And uh, later on, I'm actually disabled the layer two. Level two actually stopped until here. So this, this, is, this was the last L2 hello. And from now onward, you can see that all this is L1. And one thing you will notice over here is that if you still remember the uh, AE5, AE05B7, 
seven seven B, sorry, that will be our DIS. Now, how I know that this is a DIS is because that DIS is the one who actually sent out the CSMP, as you can see from here. So we have the CSMP sent by router two, and this is the hello that's sent by router one. Now, take note about the hello. You notice that this is a hello that is being sent by router one. Okay, sent by router one. All right, and this is the hello that is being sent by uh, the DIS router. And you can see that the DIS router actually send the hello quite rapidly. Do you notice that? Okay, and uh, that is the hello actually being go on and on. All right, so the first CSMP and the next LSP, you notice that that's about 10 seconds. Okay, so if we look into the next one here, so this is the uh, LSP that's being exchanged. That's our hello. Okay, and uh, let's look into the CSMP here. All right, so this is a CSMP, uh, and uh, let me look into here 249, 259, 269. What's that? That is an uh, interval of 10 seconds. So for, for every 10 seconds, the uh, DIS is going to send out the CSMP. And that also indicates that router 2 is the DIS. OK, so let me actually change the priority. So just ignore this for a while. We are going back into our router. Now, in this case, router 1, I'm going to change it into uh, DIS. And remember that in ISIS, the uh, DIS is uh, non preemption. Okay, so let, let me go back into the interface gig 000 ISIS. I'm going to use the DIS priority. As you can see, that the lowest priority is 0, the highest is 127. Let me use a 120. Okay. So let me double check the ISIS interface and see, you can see that straight away, um, the DIS is actually uh, belong to router one. So if let's say I go back into my wire chart, okay, and I'm going to look into this part here. Now, you will notice that it was earlier on in the 566 second, I still have a router 2 is the DIS and uh, 576 we still have it and later on you will notice that the hello is being rapidly sent by router 1 and you notice that the CSMP now changed to router 1 instead of in router 2 okay so this indicate that Whoever who are using, whoever who are being elected as a DIS is going to send a CSMP and send a rapid hello. Okay, so that's for every 10 second interval. All right, so that is a uh, very um, brief uh, introduction of the DIS and how you can configure the um, ISIS okay, at a very um, basic level. Let's look at how ISIS form a uh, neighbor relationship. So in this example, we are going to look into the neighbor relationship in a broadcast link. Now let's assume that now I have R1 and R2 that is running on the uh, layer two, okay, level two. So R1 enable the ISIS on the system as well as on the interface. So assume that I have enabled uh, level two so R1 is going to send the L2 IIH and it's sent over the network. Now when R2 receive it, you notice that this guy will go into the initialize. Now when R1 send this hello message, the neighbor is now. That means that I have no neighbor in my hello. Now when R2 receive it, it saw that, hey, you are R1. I'm, I will send you back and hello to say that I receive an hello and that my neighbor is R1. So when I send back to R1, it will say that, hey, okay, I see you, R2. I will put myself the status as up 
and I'm going to return the packet back to R2. So the status is up. So it's very simple. As you can see that the neighbor relationship is only go through these three packet. And they are going to wait for two hello. And uh, once this two hello is complete, the next stage is they are going to select what we call the DIS. Now compared to um, broadcast network, we have another network type called point to point. If you do a comparison between these two, you notice that in this example, we are using level one and level two. Uh, you can see that they are actually sending a point to point IIH. Now R1 is sending a L1, L2 point to point IIH to R2. And R2 receive this point to point hello and return and both sides will go up. And you notice over here that it's only take two IIH for it to bring up. Now definitely, uh, there is another way. If let's say you wanted to make it uh, more secure, they also have a three-way mode. By default, this is only two-way. So three-way will make it similar to what we have early on, like our three-way here. Okay, so this will be uh, more secure. Okay, and uh, we can actually change it through a command. Now this is how the uh, ISIS do the synchronization. Now assuming that R1 and R2 is already in a stable relationship, R3 is a new router is added. Okay, now R3 first is going to announce its LSP. All right, so it's going to announce to the DIS that I am a new router and this is my link state uh, PDU. Now, once the R2 as a DIS receives, it, it's going to add R3 into its LSDB and send a complete sequence network PDU back into R3. And this is being done every 10 seconds. Now, upon receive the CLNP, R3 will send a PSNP, okay, requesting for R1, R2, and R201. So this represents this is my DIS asking for update. Okay, now R2 upon receive this PSMP, we're going to send this information to R3. All right, as you can see that route and IP address prefix of the neighbor connect to the router and the list of all known router and the metric is being sent to R3. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.